Hi. Good evening, everyone. Uh, before we start, a short introduction about me. So I am a finally undergraduate at National Institute of Technology, Raurkela, majoring in biomedical engineering. Basically, my background is non-CSE, and I am a self-taught programmer. And it's been one year since I have been uh, contributing to Kubernetes. Let's start. So how it started? Basically, uh, it all started with LFX mentorship, which happens in three cohorts a year, where I was a mentee under one of the CNCF sandbox project uh, called Kiosk Mess, uh, where my work was to add more features to the AWS Kiosk uh, feature that is already present there. Uh, but uh, the caveat was, when I started with this mentorship, I had no idea what is Kubernetes and what is a content container orchestration. So, but I had to work on uh, a tool that uses Kubernetes as an end user. So I started learning it, and at that, during that time, uh, the KubeCon EU happened, and I met a lot of folks. I knew where the community thrives. I joined the Slack channels, the place uh, where the developers, upstream devs interact. But the problem I had there was I wasn't able to understand much of the conversation that is taking place. Though I tried to ask questions, but there were a few jargons that were quite unclear for me. And then the KCD Bangalore happened where uh, there was an amazing session uh, on the code walkthrough, which is still relevant for me. Uh, whenever I find any doubts with the source code of uh, Kubernetes, I go through that video and uh, you uh, get all the jargons like CAPES, uh, PRR, all this. I got introduced to that and met some of the amazing folks with whom I work day to day now and we meet weekly basis in the community. So the key elements that I found as a beginner was mentoring, second was perseverance, and third and most important was the courage to ask the right questions in the community and get your doubts cleared. As a beginner, when we start contributing, we usually ping the uh, reviewers, the approvers, uh, and uh, we ping them uh, in, in the DMs. But why it is discouraged in the community is when you ask a question in the group, not only it gets cleared swiftly, but also uh, if any other person has the same doubt, gets help, and it, uh, people know that you are active and you are working on something, and when, whenever we need help, you, we could uh, get on to you, and it also develops a sense of trust for you in the community. So uh, when I talked about how mentoring is important, uh, we talked of LFX mentorship that I was part of, where I learned about Kubernetes as an end user part. I love the project, then I start contributing to it. But when we come to Kubernetes in the upstream part, there is something called group mentoring that I was part of. Uh, shout out to Paris for mentoring me there. I was part of this uh, mentoring cohort where uh, our work was basically uh, to help with the community management part. And we were given tasks every week to go through the issues in the caseless, com uh, caseless community repository, trash them, and help them. So then comes one such issue, which was, you know, uh, it was opened by Dems on February 27. I put this four pics to show you the timeline of how issues get solved in Kubernetes. And uh, so this all, uh, this issue was regarding uh, developing a Katakota scenario that would help newbies who are coming to community, but are not able to clear the threshold of setting up the Kubernetes code in the local system. So we wanted to give them a more real-time purview of how this thing works, how to set up a, uh, how the set up, how to set up the code that lies in the caseless K in your local system and start contributing. So I assigned myself uh, to this uh, to this uh, issue on uh, August 30th. I worked myself, uh, I worked myself, and we did a cross C collaboration. Uh, we took help from Contribcoms and Contribex to do the copy editing, and we came up uh, with a contributor catacoda. And I, I hope, uh, I, I want you all to check out this contributor catacoda repository that is present at uh, Kubernetes 6 repository, where we are trying to uh, develop scenarios that would help upstream devs, the devs, uh, the, the people who are contributing actively to Kubernetes and who don't have enough resources at the beginning to get the feel how things work. So all all through this uh, all through this journey, one thing I learned is you know before assigning an issue, try to understand the subjects of the issue because what happens when we start, we uh, look for good first issues, but the problem is most of the people try to solve the issue rather than comprehending what the issue is and what is the larger picture of the issues, and that's where most people uh, the journey of most people stops as a contributor when we don't comprehend when we don't try to understand what we are solving, they don't clear the threshold of uh, good first issues. So 
whenever staff do ask for help, if you're not able to understand, the issue forms we have in uh, throughout the Kubernetes repository is very intuitive for someone to understand what that issue is saying. And if you're trying to solve it, uh, do do communicate itself uh, with the with the community members and uh, when I say communication is the key there is an advantage we have is in every Kubernetes uh, community meeting the first five minutes goes uh, as a session for introducing new contributors and that that comes as a very good ice breaking session for anyone new uh, uh, to gain confidence and ask questions ask your doubts in the community meeting and don't burn out and be regular since this uh, this whole talk was for any students, any uh, grads like me, who are unlike uh, uh, the people who are doing day-to-day -day job, have more bandwidth, we could spend more time. And if you come regular to community meetings, at least listen, and uh, you, you, uh, you become a part of the flow. And that helps, that helps you in identifying issues, in identifying parts uh, where you could help. So shout out to all the people uh, with whom I work with, who have mentored me, and it has helped me immensely in my career. And uh, th thank you, everyone, for helping me and motivating me to contribute. That's it. Thank you.